Last one. Anthony Allbrook. Come forward. You've got me. <laughs> Tell us about your political career. <laughs> you're, you're, you're running for uh, for council, yes. and we want to know what you're going to bring to the table for local sport. My dear constituents, I'd like to. No, patiently, I'm, I'm trying to get uh, more assistance in lots for women in sport. Uh, we've got a lot of junior. Uh, girls playing football, for example, and they go to the football grounds and the only change rooms there are for men. Uh, and they've got to train at different times, etc. So I want to see uh, women in sport properly recognised and hopefully do what I can to help not the basketball, because I've got a, a stadium that's falling apart. And I think... <laughs> <laughs> Council needs to do something about that. The CEO of, of Knox Council is, is somebody I used to teach, uh, but he's not allowed to. He's taking me off his Facebook page during the election. <laughs> uh, but I noticed on Facebook this week, he said he, was, he went along to the first um, WNBL game last week uh, to see the, the Knox Council Stadium, which he described as a state basketball centre. So if they're starting to see that as theirs, Knox Baronia is also theirs, and we've been paying so much rent there for the last 20 plus years. We should own them. Uh, football grounds get supplied for, for footballers, they get their own facilities, and they pay, pay hardly anything for it. And in basketball, we're paying a fortune just to be able to play the sport that more people play in, in Knox than in any other sport. So, and you've answered that very well. That's the battle that I've been having with the council for a while, and I look forward to Anthony winning and changing all of that. <laughs> <laughs> My second question is, can you tell me about what you remember the day that Steve Kavanagh interviewed you for the um, advisor role at Knox? What do you remember about that day? <laughs> both coaching uh, Knox Cougars teams. Uh, I, I had David in the under 18. I chased David when he was starting basketball. So it was I'll find you. <laughs> <laughs> so it was sort of a, a family reunion in a way. I, I felt like I was coming back to, to work with a good friend. Um, and I'm glad, I'm glad I did. Thank you, sir. And uh, my final question. Um, what will be your legacy at BBI and Ox Grounds? Um, you don't have to be called a referee. Leave me alive, show you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Can I just say another thing while you, when you mentioned that? You talked about whistles before. Yeah. I got a, an email today from Referees Warehouse and they're selling the ultimate, they call it the ultimate, molten. Uh, referee whistle. It costs $100. Oh, 
Two tone whistle that they say will instantly stop any player from running. So, anyone who wants to buy me one. We're going to move into the last round, the ultimate round.